Good morning everyone and welcome to my Formula One 2019 career mode. This is episode number 125 of my sixth season in the Red Bull Honda Racing and we're at the Brazilian Grand Prix at the Autodrama Jose Carlos Pace uh, circuit. And if in case you missed the previous one, which was the USA Grand Prix, be sure to check it out on youtube.com slash bjpo3. And if you want to check full live uh, streaming, uh, check on mixer.com slash japanator3. Well, we were going to do the Brazilian Grand Prix yesterday, but apparently uh, yesterday's Daytona 500 uh, was apparently uh, postponed. And uh, didn't feel too well last night or anything, but I feel much better now. Now I'm uh, capable of uh, doing the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix for this race. So we have done a very good job in practice. Uh, we've been the fastest. We've gone a minute and nine, a minute and eight uh, for the first and second practice session. Then the final practice session, I've made uh, some progress, going to be uh, the fastest lap and everything. So we should be able to do a great job here, but... Uh, the question is that uh, the Brazilian Grand Prix, we're going to have a little bit of rain going into uh, during the mid part of the race. It will be light and heavy rain, but then at the end it will clear up. So we should be able to have soft tires um, uh, all the way to this race before we move on to the inter and uh, wet tire for a little bit. So we should be able to do good and there's the uh, shortest uh, Grand Prix in our calendar. And then we'll also tell you reports about the uh, the new Williams and the new Racing Point car launch, uh, which was uh, unveiled just today. And uh, I got do have the pictures of it and everything right next to me. And uh, and you know Racing Point lost their sponsor from Sports Penza, so they will have BWT as their sponsors throughout the season. So here we go. Let's see how qualifying will play out. Let's get another pole position here uh, at the Brazilian Grand Prix, episode number tw 125. So it's time for qualifying here at Interlagos. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. The teams have completed their preparations and are just waiting for the pit lane to open before they take to the track. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? Top speed is a key factor for this circuit. Even if you can achieve the same lap time as someone running less wing than you, chances are you'll find overtaking difficult if you have too much drag. Alright, let's see how we can do in the first qualifying session. Remember, it's going to be cloudy and partly cloudy throughout the uh, qualifying session. So we're going to uh, just stand there and wait and see how the others do. Uh, right now they are cracking in a minute and eight. We should crack in a minute and seven time if we do well. And we're next to the last race here to end season six of our Formula One 2019 career mode. And hopefully tomorrow we will finish out season six. And and I'll still be with, with this team for one more season. It looks like the Formula 1 2020 game is going to be pretty different with the brand new cars. And I don't think uh, the 2019 game will have the 2020 upgrade game because usually Codemasters doesn't do that. Going into the uh, Senna S's. Well, I think we're going to be all right in the rain. You know, it always rains here in Brazil because that's why the the Autodromo uh, Jose Carlos Pace uh, circuit uh, brings in a lot of a uh, lot of action, a lot of drama. Uh, 
we see one person uh, just coming into Mixer. Let's see what the fastest time is going to be. Is it going to be a bit of an eight? Uh, it's a bit slower. It's P5. Devin Butler is now the fastest uh, on this lap. I had a minute and 8.443, a bit slower. this second lap is going to be. I had to take an extra lap here to go fast enough, and it is faster. Minute and 8.119. That's pretty much going to be good enough right there. Yeah, enough for it to uh, go to the next qualifying session. Usually takes a couple of laps uh, around here in Brazil to uh, get the faster lap, and that was indeed the faster lap. And surprisingly, we see Hulkenberg and Butler are second and third fastest. And K Mag going to P13, but he took the medium tires, but he's already up in the, the next round. Now uh, the second qualifying session. Let's every, see if hope that everybody ticks their times up. Uh, they're still going to run a minute and eight seconds. And my teammate K-Mag is now up there at uh, minute eight point oh two oh, and he was a lot quicker than I was. Uh, let's see if we can try to crack in a minute and seven. It's faster, minute at 7.813, so I crack in a minute and seven. That was a nice lap. And that's pretty much going to do it. I don't think anybody else is going to uh, crack in a minute and seven. So I'm going to save these tires uh, for the second qualifying session. And then I 
be using them during the race, maybe during towards the end of this thing. That was a great lap right there. Minute and seven point uh what was it? Minute seven point eight thirteen. And that'll be good enough to go to the final qualifying session. And K Mag, uh, he did a great job on that one. Minute and seven point eight eight eight. So both of the Red Bull cars are now uh on top with uh, cracking in a minute and seven. Gasly is third, Weber fourth, and then Butler goes into the top five. Good surprise showing by the Haas team. Uh, they're doing a great job. But my projection in 2020, they're going to be pretty much a back marker uh, this year with Romain Grosjean and uh, Kevin Magnussen. He'll improve, but uh, I don't think he's going to be in the top ten. I think he might be 11th. Uh, with my projection, I think Rojan's going to be in the top 15, but maybe not getting any points. And it, and it is going to be his final season and for his Formula 1 career. Alright, here we go. Final qualifying session. Let's see if we can try to grab the pull. My teammate K-Mag is now looking great so far. And it looks like K-Mag just cracked in a minute and seven once again. in the first sector. Faster. Whoa, look at that lap. Minute and 7.612. Minute and 7.612. That was a nice, nice, beautiful qualifying lap. I think it's going to be a faster time because uh, I think I lost it a little going in there, but it's fast enough for pole position. Let's see if this is fast enough for full pole position. A minute and 7.612. And it most certainly is. Race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hawk, Magnuson, and Devon Butler. With qualifying wraps up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. So what a great job that we did in the final qualifying session and it was fast enough for the pole. So we are on the pole for the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix. That's a way to start out the to start out our day here in the Brazilian Grand Prix and my teammate K-Mag right with him and it's our 10th uh, front row start uh, this season. 
Devin Butler goes to third. Great qualifying for him. He cracks Cinnamon in seven as well. Leclerc goes to fourth and Vettel fifth. successful qualifying we should be in with a good chance in the race well we'll see what we can do during the race so we are on the pole for the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix so uh, looks like in the mid part of the race we're projected that the rain could come in maybe on lap 30 or 35 or 40 maybe around there or maybe earlier than that so we'll see uh, how the race plans out and everything so let's see what we can do here in the Brazilian Grand Prix and we're on the, on the pole and my teammate K-Mag right with him and we don't know what the story is with the, uh, the, with the penalties so we're going to see a lot of drivers uh, taking grid penalties so we'll check and see what, what comes up uh, in the, uh, the starting grid for this race. So here we go, let's get ready to race here at the Brazilian Grand Prix, episode number 125, here we go. rises in the morning, the Brazilian Grand Prix packs out the grandstands and creates incredible drama. Title deciders, heartbreak, triumph and home glory. All these and more can be found in abundance here at the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with 9 lefts and 6 rights for a total of 15 corners. Fastest lap today should have an average speed of around 135 miles per hour, if, of course, the weather stays dry until the end of the Grand Prix. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hawk. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Off the back of a fantastic and here's the, uh, qualifying session, starting it's time grid for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Looks for today's race. See if there's any, um, pole position. any of them that are going to the, the back for grid As penalties. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Pierre Gasly and Russell, Perez, Weber, Fiat and Devon Butler. They've taken the grid penalty. Verstappen, Vettel, Kimi Räikkönen and Bottas, Albon, Hamilton, Lance Stroll and Carlos Sainz. Ricardo and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid and with lights out just moments away it's time to go down to the track. Okay the run into turn one isn't too long so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. All right so uh, let's see how the strategy is going to be. They said we could spend 32 laps on the uh, soft tire, so we can uh, stay out there as much longer as we like. But the selected strategy is uh, 23 laps, but uh, we might stay 32 laps uh, with these uh, soft tires and then move on into mediums. And I'm going to go maybe 74.2 laps uh, on, the, uh, on the fuel window. 
So that way I could stretch it out. But rain is going to be a factor in this race and during the mid part of the race. So um, we'll, we could stay out with the uh, softs as long as we can. It will take about 32 laps for it. And, the, and it's going to last until about an hour and 21 minutes here for the Brazilian Grand Prix. But it may be longer than that. So maybe an hour and a half. So we'll see how it plays out. So let's get ready uh, to start rolling the cars along for the Brazilian Grand Prix. So, okay, so six cars have now uh, taken grid penalties, so they'll be starting in between uh, ninth and uh, all the way up to dead last. So a tough break for Lando Norris will, will start dead last in this race. Looks like he changed every component of his car, but he may be a factor uh, during the end of the race, so he could be able to maybe get a top ten. And me and k Mag expected to be 1-2 here in Brazil if we uh, keep this pace together. coming early as a factor so uh, so it's going to come in about 10 to 15 minutes but we run a minute and eight seconds here so we're expecting maybe around lap 10 or lap 15 that the rains will come The five red lights are going to be coming on shortly for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's going to be a dry, rainy, dry race. So here they come. The five red lights coming on. And we are underway here at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Let's hope this is a good start. Here comes my teammate K-Mag coming by. It is a great start, but uh, oh, got a little bit bumpy over there. A little bit bumpy over to my teammate, but no damage in my way. And that was a good restart right there. Good, good restart here at the Brazilian Grand Prix. A little bit of bump in there to my teammate, but we're okay. And it looks like Charles Leclerc is bumping into me. I don't know why he is. are pulling away. We, we have the best reliable cars out here for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Here comes the pass. That was a nice clear pass right there and I'm in the lead now here in the Brazilian Grand Prix. And Nico Hulkenberg now gets by, uh, it looks like, that, that wasn't Devin Butler, that looks like Leclerc. Yeah, he got by Leclerc for P3. Now, this is a nice start so far for the Haas team. You know, when that 2020 game comes out, uh, they're not going to be uh, the, the front runners, they're going to be the back markers.
fastest lap for the race. Well, we're after three of 71, and me and K-Mag has just outpaced the field so far. Definitely pulling away from uh, Nico Hulkenberg. I only have a 1.5 second lead over my teammate. Last lap in a minute 11 point 196 seconds. Trying to create some faster times here because we're definitely going to be slow when, we, when the rains come through. And I'm already uh, calling a pretty big gap for him over uh, K Mag. two seconds ahead of uh, K-Mag. K-Mag is losing ground because now Hulkenberg is closing in on the K-Mag for P2. Nico Hulkenberg is having a great, this has got to be his uh, greatest race in a while since uh, season three. Remember he used to join with the McLaren team, had a good position in the standings and now uh, the Haas cars are really moving forward. A great little run there for Nico Hulkenberg. Remember this season uh, in the 2020 game, he will not be uh, competing in the Formula One uh, 2020 season this year because he's being replaced uh, by the rental car of uh, Sebastian Ocon. But Nico Hulkenberg said that he will be racing Indy cars uh, this season. So he has a good chance to win that Crown Jewel Indianapolis 500, but I don't think it will be him uh, that will be winning. I really would love to see uh, Marco Andretti win it. I wanted to win it for him for the late John Andretti, who passed away about a week and a half ago. So if they win that, it will be a very emotional win. And that will be one for John and the whole Andretti family. Well, you know, he was battling well with cancer. He survived from it for two years, but he ran out of time. But uh, we pay thoughts and respects uh, to the Andretti family. We're already about 7.4 seconds ahead of uh, Kevin Magnuson. Hulkenberg is only two and a half seconds uh, ahead of K-Mag. And that was the fastest lap with a minute 11.151. 